dawn over Orpheus Island Resort, North Queensland. I got up at five this morning and uh, looked at the weather, procrastinated for a while and decided that I, I'm gonna go. I should be able to get uh, tack over towards the mainland and I might have a 20 uh, nautical mile uh, motor uh, to get to Townsville. But I'd like to get to Townsville and see my mate Don and uh, I might have to move his boat for him so I'm gonna try and uh, do it. There's a weather window coming up in about three days time, three or four days time and I'd like to uh, be there to do that then. And you see the sun's just coming up. Anyway, we're off. And where we're going is straight into the wind. So I don't know what we're gonna do. But anyway, we're just gonna go. And uh, it's about 35 nautical miles. So if I have to use go juice, we'll have to use go juice. Passing the jetty for Orpheus Island. There's a couple of public moor moorings in here as well. Or at least one, no, there's two. Coming on round. I'm gonna head up to that point there where I can stay in the lee for a little bit longer. The plan is to uh, creep along Orpheus Island around the next little island, forgot what it's called, and across to Palm Island. And then when we hit the end of Palm Island, start sailing. Yeah, we're beating up to the end of Fathom Island now. Just a little bit lumpy. Got a bit of tide with us round this headland. Normally we're doing about 4.9. Yeah, not as rough as it's been, but uh, we're making good progress at the moment. Heading for Palm Island when I get outside. Yeah, it's looking pretty ordinary out here. Palm Island here in the centre of the screen. We're going to head for the headland, basically, or just inside. See if I can get a bit of lee out the uh, waves till I get to the end of Palm Island. That's the plan. Well, that's Fathom Island, the beam, at uh, 7.30. Ready for the uh, sails towards the magnetic island. The wind at the moment is smack on the nose the magnetic island, but uh, which is in the centre of the screen there. But I'm hoping it will come round during the day. If not, we'll have a long motor about 7 o'clock in the evening, I expect. 
Havana Island. I, I can't see through my glasses. But I just want to weather that before I turn the engine off. Over there is the... I've got to weather that island. That means I've got to go to windward of it. And we're going along pretty well. Doing about... Oh, five knots, a bit more, 5.3 or something like that. We're cracking on. We're still not laying a magnetic island, but the plan is, I hope that the, uh, the wind comes round a bit later on. I think it's rattlesnake right on the bow. got it, uh, if you look up there, I've got the jib, it's called Barber hauled in a bit. Give it a bit more curve down the bottom. And while I'm sitting down here, there's the end of Palm Island over there. The seas aren't too bad to be honest. I think we're having a good sail. When I woke up this morning and you stop, you know, planning all this, you know, when your mind and going, oh, oh dear. Anyway, it's kind of working out uh, to where I thought we would be at the moment. Havana Island beam. Yeah, we're going really well at the moment. Doing about five and a half knots to windward. The autopilot's working reasonably well. When I'm, uh, I normally steer it, I can gain a bit more, but the, when I want to rest, I put the autopilot on, and it's doing a very good job. Looking behind, in the distance there is Orpheus Island. Time groups over here. Yeah, we're doing all right. On, on the bow is, I think it's Rattlesnake Island. And into the wind over there is Magnetic Island. Well, I'm going between Rattlesnake and, and Herald. And there's not much space between them there. Anyway, I've got to get outside now and uh, get myself through. Gonna use the engine as well, or maybe, I don't know yet. This is Rattlesnake Island. And I managed to make it to windward of that. I thought I'd have to go round that end there. And Herald Island. I'm gonna go between them. There's... See Rattlesnake over there and Herald. And uh, there's not much of a channel through here. So I'm going to have to concentrate now and put the camera down until I get through. I've got the phone and the GPS set together. I find the phone a bit uh, easier to look at, to be honest. So we're uh, going on the phone mainly. side we've got the, uh, the rocky shore of uh, Rattlesnake. 
Well, it looks a very nice beach over there on Herald Island. This island here is an army uh, practice bombing range for aircraft. I'm not sure. Something to do with them anyway. Well, we're going pretty well. 6.3 of water. And we're just about through. Brilliant. Now we can point up again and head on our way towards Maggie Island. Well, the sign over there does say danger. You can't read the rest of it. Maggie Island or Magnetic Island into the wind and we're slowly getting a lift so we'll see by the end of the day where I end up it's now 11.30 and uh, to be quite honest with you my bum hurts my arm aches a bit holding the helm. But I'll, I'll manage to get there. So we're cracking on at 6.3 and I haven't even pulled the sailing yet. Well there, there it is above the solar panels there. And we're doing okay. Very happy. Everything turning out to plan so far, or even better than planned. And there's Rattle State Snake Island on the stern. Thank God. Anyway, I'll do a bit of. Uh, going to make yourself something to eat now. I'm I'm pretty hungry. After eight hours of sailing, I can see the beaches of Magnetic Island. I'm going to put a reef in. I've let the sail off a bit so I can put a reef in. So I'm going to pull up the topping lift, let it down on the main on the main halyard get it round the reefing king crinkle and then i'm going to pull it in pull the clue in and then i'm going to uh, pull the sail in so that's the kind of order i'm going to do it in townsville's kind of over there behind that golf ball on the top of that hill that's for uh but you've got to go uh it's very shallow between uh Magnetic Island and the mainland. There's not much water, so you've got to go down a bit of a channel. Anyway, I'm going to reef the main so I can put the engine on and I'm not healing too far. There's Rattlesnake Island an hour on. Well have been. We're basically doing about five and a half knots. I'm a bit puffed, I've just had to take the jib off. Uh, the boat's going nowhere at the moment. That's uh, Townsville where I left uh, about, oh, maybe a couple of, three months ago, was it? From over there. This is Magnetic Island here, in between the dinghy and the boom. And we're gonna go over there, round that point, uh, to Windward and go to uh, Horseshoe Bay where my mate Don is but he's not actually there at the moment 
he's on the doctor's table so I don't know what's going on but anyway we'll go round there and that's where his boat is and we'll uh, work things out from there motoring motoring alongside Maggie in about 20 to bit, maybe a little bit more 20 knots of breeze anyway uh, I'm doing 3-2 so 3 forward would be maximum and we're only doing 4.5 knots at the moment might not be able to see that we got to do uh, three and a half, half three and a half nautical miles to get into Horseshoe Bay in here anyway we're going all right giving the old engine a good rattle anyway well everything seems to be turning out even up here you know we're motoring to windward but I've just got a little bit of Leah the uh, island bloody great gone round this big rock which is basically entrance to Horseshoe Bay Bay's on the bow. The sun's coming up and I'm anchored as close in as I can in Horseshoe Bay. There's a lot of boats here and I'm going to pan round. <laughs> 